CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening, Hudson Mack is off tonight. I'm Joe Perkins. Just months after Vancouver Island's fundraising dynamo, Janice Edroff found out the province would pitch in to send her to the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. The province has done an about face. Janice and her family now say they may have to pay for their sur uh, her surgery rather on their own. The family says it is stunned that the province is dragging its heels because the longer Janice has to wait, the more dangerous the surgery becomes. CTV's Louise Hartland reports. It's absolutely frustrating. Janice Edroff and her parents are stunned. Just one month before the 18-year-old is scheduled for a tumor removal surgery at the Mayo Clinic, Sorry. another roadblock is thrown up. It's absurd. Initially, the family was told that Janice's doctors in B.C. needed to sign off on the surgery and then the province would pay for it. But now, just weeks before she was due to fly to Minnesota, Janice's oncologist is deferring that decision, saying a plastic surgeon should sign off on it instead. Oh, you want me to book one now? How long does that take? Uh, months. It's a specialist. To get an appointment with a plastic surgeon, we're going to have to wait months. Janice's surgery is next month. The Ministry of Health emailed the family with the news this morning. It was not the best news to find out, and it made me angry, but if we're going to still go down there and get the surgery anyways, we're going to make sure we go down there no matter what we have to do. What they may need to do is pay for the surgery themselves. It is scheduled at the Mayo Clinic February 22nd and could cost as much as $50,000. That doesn't include travel or other associated expenses. And they're worried about going malignant, so that means cancerous. If they're thinking that, that's way more important for me to get removed than anything else. So the longer you wait, the more dangerous it is? Yeah, definitely the longer I wait, it's way more dangerous. The Edroff say they asked their oncologist last fall about a referral to a plastic surgeon and they were told that part of their treatment could wait. Now, they've learned it can't. The Minister of Health says she won't speak specifically about Janice's case, but says the province has to follow procedure. It's not a time-consuming process, but we do need that information and we count on it. Um, the ministry, like someone like me or other people within the ministry, would never be the ones to make that kind of decision. We always count on the, the, um, the medical, the physician, healthcare provider to, to, to help us in that way. I mean, this could have been dealt with. This whole thing was an emergency to start with and it's just been overlooked and now we're having to wait again and now they're trying to get us to an emergency plastic surgeon now. This should have, should have been done a long, long time ago. The Edroff say they'll still head to Minnesota for Janice's surgery in February, even if the province doesn't come up with a single penny. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Saanich.